Um, this ain't usually my type of thing, and you don't usually see my face. I mean, you can see my old, younger face, beardless, bald self, uh, older videos on the channel. But I wanted to make a review of something that was particularly useful to me during the during this quarantine. And it was the R4 Gold Pro, it, or to be more specifically, the R4i Gold Pro. And it, it's a wonderful product, but I, I ordered one, and then the day of that I got it, my cameraman, yeah, that's him, I decided to try and homebrew his 2DS with it which we all share didn't go too well he didn't watch the video correctly and, and or read the instructions or watch the materials needed uh, this isn't the right you know flash card to do it with and I got the proof that I had to order an, another one because I got two flash cards and two flash drive dealies that you can you know load the BIOS and stuff onto and ROMs onto the SD card, which, no, these don't come with an SD card. I just had one lying around. I ordered one, but it still hasn't arrived to this date. No, it came in. It just came in the day after of recording this. I'm re recording this as I'm editing it. So, yeah, it's a bigger SD, 16 gigabytes, when the one I was originally working with was 8. So, a lot more room for save files and ROMs. Typical during this thing, I don't blame the company that's shipping it. I, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I ordered these as well. Um, they're fine and all. I'll add a link to both the cart and these um, in the description. I prefer to use the, uh, the blue one because it matches the, uh, the system here. They're also extendable. So, so let's get cracking with this review. The device I'm using isn't compatible with a capture card, like I even own one of those, or a computer that can handle stuff like it. It runs fine, and it passed the piracy protection thing with spare tracks. Sorry, I forgot to record that. But I basically right now am showing it booting up, and I using I'm using the Pokemon background theme and I got a bunch of ROMs, some of which I had back in the day, some of which I was just using to test out the thing, and right now I am loading up Pokemon Platinum, which I shared with my brother each time he came down and we made he came down to where I live and we basically played it together. I made some progress as with um, capturing Pokemon, he made progress with battling uh, gym leaders and all that. And this save file I started fresh not too long ago, and I used the shiny charm glitch by changing my uh, trainer ID and secret ID and having a jigglypuff with cute charm. The male lead I can get shiny Pokemon, but only in female. So a lot of my shiny Pokemon are female. And as you can see here, my Staravia Gyarados. My Grottle, which is not shiny, my Rotom, which I changed through PK Hex to shiny, my Bidoof, and all that, are mostly shiny and female. Except for the Rotom. Again, I put my micro SD card into a computer and used PK Hex to change it into a shiny, because I got tired of trying to get it into shiny form. And basically, just to show that I did change my uh, ID to a one that has the one that I can use the shiny charm glitch with. And now you see me playing Contra. Contra 4 to be specific. I wanted to try it out because I heard people talking about it way back when and of nowadays a lot. And I want to try it out and it's not really my style. Like, I, I can get a hang of it. I played it a little bit. It's just... what The way I, I was recording the screen, it wasn't good for me. And the way I usually play it isn't good for me. I'm not good with like shooting ups at all. It's just not my style, but apparently it was highly rated amongst the Contra community and people liked it. And I'm, it's just not my thing. It might be the you, the audience's thing, or one of you in the audience, but it's not my thing. 
but if I'm ever just sitting around feeling like I want to play shoot 'em up ever again, this will probably be the game I'm going to play, because <laughs> it's the only one I have on hand on my R4 flash cart, and it's wonderful and all, but it, again, it's just not. And with that, enjoy the rest of the Contra 4 gameplay. And now you see me playing a bit of Animal Crossing Wild World. Sadly, um, the internet services was for this game was discontinued. I can't access it, the stuff like that, through DNS exploits like I can with the Pokemon games. But overall, this is a great game. Uh, if you can't afford or don't have a Nintendo Switch like me and don't have uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, then this can get you a little bit of the fix and or the feel if you want to, you know, get a new Animal Crossing New Horizons, but don't want to, you know, put the money in. You can check out what the previous games felt like before the 3DS with this. And, you know, have a little more of a feel for the game style of Animal Crossing and or, or a feel for how Animal Crossing was back before the 3DS. And... You can see that I talked to one of my recent added villagers, Annabelle, which is, and she is an anteater, and sh she's fine and all, but I prefer Goose. G Goose is my man, and uh, Goose and Apollo are like my favorites, probably just because they're birds, but like, those were like, Apollo was in the Animal Crossing movie, and Goose, Goose, Goose was one of my first villagers, to be honest, and he was, he was great. I, I like him, he's funny, and he always compliments me, and it, it's awesome. And then, I've been doing the, uh, Able Sisters thing, talking to the sister in the back, with, who's constantly sewing, every day, and I think, um, today, which should be, um, I think the 4th of May, I should be able to get her items the uh, unlockable items from her like the pattern more pattern stuff or whatever from her because I've talked with her and all that and this is basically coming up towards the end of the gameplay because I didn't do much I didn't talk to much of my villagers in this recording so let's get on to the next clip and now for my favorite game to play as a kid Kirby Superstar Ultra which is just a mashup of mini games and normal games from the Kirby series on a DS card. And it has my favorite Kirby villain of all in it. Marks. As you can see, this is Marks basically his origins. And he's my favorite villain just cause he's a little wacky. And the fact that he's so different from all the other Kirby villains. And the way he comes to power is just amazing. And you can tell later in the footage that it took me a good few tries to defeat Marks after all these years. And the fact that I was playing in very, very weird conditions. And, uh, yeah. I, I like this game. I, used, I liked it as a kid, and I think it's awesome. Now, enjoy the rest of the footage along with this awesome, awesome Marks battle music that I'm going to put over this entire clip. Alright. See you at the end of the review.
overall it's a great product, but I wish I could do this end thing at my table, but I can't do it because of the time of day, you know, online school, my little sister's using it. And I bet you all are wondering what I was using to record all this footage. I basically used a box, a hand towel, and just stuck the 2DS inside and put a hole on top to record the footage on my phone. Voila. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.